Welcome to Bear, brought to you by Giddy, the world's largest sexual health platform. I know you're moving to a new place, but like as a young, attractive gay man in a new city, what does modern dating look like for you? Oh my gosh, I laugh. So on the show, I remember I struggled to find a date. It's just, I've never dated before, so I'm awkward. <laughs> and then the, um, the dating apps, I'm like not the most photogenic, so I feel like my profiles are not to par. And I'm, I'm the type of person, like, if you meet me in person, I promise I'm like better, you know? And I was struggling to find a date when I first moved here for 20-somethings. I remember Kamari, one of my roommates, was like, Kiana, like, after the show, you're going to have, like, a sea of men. I'm like, it's been a desert. I'm like, there is no <laughs> sea of men. Uh, um, but recently, I kind of just started getting self-confidence. And I've realized, mm -hmm. like, oh, that guy is attracted to me. But it's so hard because I'm 28. So I feel, like, late to the game. Like, I know there's the joke in the gay world, like, in your 30s you're in your coffin and i'm like i have like two years left and i'm not even <laughs> here yet you know i'm just kidding though but i feel so behind so like i meet people and they have these crazy like sex stories or hookups so common and i'm like i don't even know if i'm top or bottom you know like so i feel like so lost and like i'm late to the game i still want to have fun i don't know if i want to hoe phase mm -hmm. i don't know if i want to just find a boyfriend and wait um but it's also just so hard because i feel like other people my age have so much more experience. Mm -hmm. I remember on on 20 somethings I get hurt and or was hurt. And so I remember being happy though, because I'm like, I experienced heartbreak. Mm -hmm. Like I for someone who never thought I was gonna find a guy. Like I had my heart broken. I remember like Roxy and Natalie being like like you're happy about your heart being broken i'm like that means i'm on the journey like and i, I remember I was, I was like crying and laughing at the same time mm -hmm. i'm living a life right now i never thought i would live so to me it's like every moment negative or positive is like amazing for me to like experience i'm gonna need updates on this <laughs> uh this is like a shameless plug but you made me think um so on 20 something is my best friend her name's natalie and she went to Miami, so we're separated. But a lot of our supporters are the same group of people. And they always, they, they, were, they were asking us relationship advice and they were wanting more from us. And so we we're like, let's do a podcast. Um, and it's called Hopeful and Horny. And it's because we're the most inexperienced people. <laughs> and so we laugh that people ask us for advice. And so the podcast ended up, it's mainly us asking the audience for advice. We also talk about, yes, we're inexperienced, but we're very sexual people and how that is like, shameful nowadays but it's like no like we want to be proud of being horny and we want to experience it you know is there anything else that you want to share with us that i haven't asked you about i would just share to others i feel like more coming out stories are coming out which is good but also there isn't like a way to come out like i used to say when i moved to austin i wish there was a coming out book or how mm -hmm. to be gay book still kind of do but at the same time i don't like saying that anymore because i'm like there's not like everyone has their own journey even though my show was 20 somethings i'm glad i've been able to connect with people who are in their 30s and 40s that say like either i'm still closeted or i'm just coming out too mm -hmm. and so one as someone who felt it was too old to come out it's not because even at 28 i feel like i'm living a whole new life and just starting life um and two, I know easier said than done, but I remember at 25, like crying at home, praying every night, like just not in the best place. And to where I am today at 28, like three years later, yes, it took three years, but I'm so happy. And like, I cannot imagine 25 year old me was in such a dark space. I couldn't imagine where I am today. And so to anyone that's you know, out there, like on your couch or not going out or just not in a good place, like just keep trying to go. And, um, you know, it might need to be a move. It might need to be meeting someone new, but I'm thankful, you know, I had like a little push to help me, but it gets better or life, life is worth it, you know?